Well, the ribbons are out for the top crop art pieces at the fair, and this year features a wide range of topics. I learned what it takes to make one of these, and man, it takes a lot of dedication. Here's a behind the seeds look. This is hulled millet. Chia seed. Corn. Split pea, which is a little bit larger. Or quinoa. A bunch of seeds down here. You name it, Marta Short. The cabinet that is supposed to hold dishes. Probably has it. <laughs> But this isn't for cooking, it's for crop art. Such a Minnesota thing. <laughs> it's so awesome. This type of seed art style has been featured at the Great Minnesota Get Together for almost 60 years. One of the things they judge on is how much of the board is covered with seeds and how tightly they're packed. The competition isn't what drew Marta, a U of M professor, into the craft. When you're doing a statistical analysis, you have to think about a lot of different things. You say there's all these little tiny details, and then, and then to unwind, I'm basically gluing little tiny details to a board. The process that requires patience right. is her form of relaxation. And I'm going to go ahead and, and do the other side. 40 to 50 hours on one piece. It's not weird. It's, it's cool. Okay. <laughs> but it's the process that's the reward. Whenever I explain it, I'm like, it's kind of this folk art unique to Minnesota. <laughs> exactly. And all of Marta's pieces placed this year, so congrats to her. Hey, if you are out in the fair and maybe want to check out the crop art, go check it out. But also make sure that you come to the Care Barn. We are near the corner of Judson and Nelson. Our shows are live out there on the weekdays, 4, 5, and 6, and also Saturday morning at 8.